What's up, Gabe? Stream Cascai here, and these are my honest thoughts on the Ubisoft Forward that just concluded. Because this is still technically kind of like E3 time, and I do enjoy watching these showcases, seeing the major studios and publishers come out and talk about the future of their video games. But this year, it has definitely been different. The Xbox showcase that we had yesterday was fantastic because it felt like classic E3. It was games, it was release dates, it was surprise projects, it was actually getting a chance to say, hey, here's why Xbox is going to hopefully be better, whereas... The other showcases we've had recently, stuff like Summer Games Fest and that PlayStation State of Play, they were incredibly bad. So I'm happy to report the Ubisoft show was pretty half decent. And I can finally talk about Star Wars Outlaws because they showed about 13 minutes of it today. I have seen an additional like 40 minutes of it. I'm going to have a bunch of uh, Star Wars Outlaw gameplay during this that I have in like 4K, but let's go through the showcase. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So as you can see, it has just ended and it seems like the general response, in my opinion, has been pretty positive. It seems like people are kind of going, okay, you know, this wasn't half bad, but the strangeness of this showcase is just definitely the fact that it was halfway about two separate games. They did about a 13 minute segment talking about Star Wars Outlaws and then about 13 minutes talking about Assassin's Creed, which I think looks pretty good, even though, as you can see, it's getting downvote bombed to heck. P people already hate this game. But what was weird to me was the fact that half of this was just about downloadable content. Like, Ubisoft is utterly obsessed with freaking DLC. They've straight up said in investor reports and stuff that everything Ubisoft does, they want it to either be a sequel, DLC, or an established franchise. So almost everything today was either, hey, here's a game that's going to exist in years, or tons and tons and tons of stuff saying, hey, we're about to come out with new downloadable content. Oh, here's the Crew Motor Fest. Now, I also want to make it clear, every game I'm talking about here, I've played. I have reviewed a lot of these games. Like, I think Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown is fantastic. It's cool. It's getting this DLC, but... It's weird to just see so much back-to-back -back trailers that are just like, hey, here's another thing that are, are existing projects. Oh, Avatar DLC, that's fantastic. Oh, X Defiant is getting new stuff. Oh, God, do you remember that Skull and Bones even exists? I, I feel like I'm one of the, like, 15 people in the world that actually even played this complete dumpster fire of a game. But let's actually focus on the positives first, which is Star Wars Outlaws. So, secretly, last week, I had a chance to meet with Ubisoft, and they showed me just a ton of gameplay about how stuff works, how we're going to traverse, how we're going to be able to sneak around and stuff. And beyond even that, the game is completely gorgeous. I go back and forth on whether I'm a bit of a Star Wars hater or somebody that can kind of respect the universe. I feel like it's just the fact that we've been so flooded with Star Wars games and books and comics and TV shows and movies. And I feel like I'm at this point where I'm like, okay, I do not care. This is actually what I was hoping for. The entire game is basically just a gigantic heist. You're just currently in trouble with a bunch of evil syndicates, so you're trying to pull off an impressively difficult job, but doing that means you have to collect a bunch of different skill sets, get somebody that will help upgrade your ship or teach you how to pick locks or someone that will train you to shoot your blaster better. So finding these people permanently upgrades your crew so you can hopefully survive that impossible heist, but... Even this, the gameplay trailer they showed during the showcase, perhaps the part of it that I think is impressing the internet the most is the fact that they showed that when you want to go down to planets, it is a seamless experience. Let's speed this up here just because it is so wild. You can fly straight up into space and fly straight down to a space port. God, yet this is one of those things I feel like never stops being amazing. It is just so cool. 
This is the kind of stuff that I have been wanting in Star Wars, which is that grounded realism. Like, I'm sure that Star Wars fans don't want to hear that, but, you know, you guys do have lightsabers and crazy force abilities and stuff like that, and I respect that. But to me, as a person that's kind of burned out, I just want to see the actual minute-to-minute lives of average people. The fact that you are just a smuggler who's been trying to stay out of the sights of the evil empire, and now you're actually having to deal with them, that's cool. There is actually going to be a GTA-style wanted system, so while you're doing stuff, you actually have to try and not get too much attention. You have to try not to kill too many people and stuff, or they will send stormtroopers after you. Honestly, Star Wars Outlaws is one of those games that when I first saw it revealed, I was like, okay, that looks fun for other people. But now it has clicked. Now I'm like, okay, I want to play this. I I almost, even though I don't even care about stormtroopers and stuff, I don't care about the resistance or force powers or Luke Skywalker. I want to play this just for having a big space adventure that quite frankly, of the 30 minutes they showed me of 4K footage, it looks glorious. Okay, so going back to the showcase itself though. So the other thing besides piles of DLC, which I still feel like completely killed the pace of it, was an extended demo for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now in this, there is going to be two separate parts of this combat that we can do. If you're playing as Yasuke, he is obviously humongous. This guy is uh, just completely creaming people. Whereas there is also some stealth gameplay. When you play as Naomi, I'm probably butchering her poor name. This is like the ninja character. She's your more standard assassin. So she is able to creep around, time things, distract people, and do classic assassinations. This to me looks utterly fantastic. This game, I feel like it's getting so much hate. There's so much controversy around it. And I do think a lot of it is because of Yasuke. Like, there is a lot of debate as to whether or not this guy was actually a samurai or if he was a real person. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fanatic for Assassin's Creed. I think I've played all of them, but I don't care about the historical accuracy. I mean, the early Assassin's Creed games had actual aliens in them. You fist fight the Pope. You go against George Washington, who becomes king. I don't care if this is historically accurate. I care that it is a fun game. And I'll be honest, getting a chance to be like a freaking six foot three guy slamming people with like 300 pounds of muscle in feudal Japan. This sounds awesome. I will additionally say that part of the reason I'm simping for this so hard is because I have always wanted this. Like I have been playing Assassin's Creed since they first first started coming out like the early ones completely melted my brain and all along like everybody else I kept saying take me to feudal Japan like it was cool seeing so many different locations and stuff but I always wanted to specifically see freaking Japan because I just think it's such an interesting warring time period wowzers does this look great I mean I am definitely on board for this but uh yeah I am surprised to say that, for the most part, I actually enjoyed the Ubisoft Ford a surprising amount. I think my current ranking of the showcases we've had over the course of the last week is Xbox Showcase by a huge margin. That is way in first, whereas below that, I'd probably give it to the Ubisoft Ford A couple notches below that, the PlayStation State of Play, purely because it was mostly just a showcase for Astro Bot, which turned out to be fantastic. And then finally, in last place by a deep margin, Summer Games Fest itself. So, what did you guys think about Ubisoft Ford? Do these games actually look good? Are you excited for Star Wars Outlaws or freaking Assassin's Creed Shadows. Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But please keep dreaming. And uh, thanks to Ubisoft for uh, letting me check that game out early. It was kind of cool to just see so much Star Wars Outlaws. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.